Hi, my name is Steve Redpath of Transgero Engineering. We're an electrotechnical training centre, City and Gills and EAL approved. And with this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to isolate a three phase supply uh, and safely isolate it. So, um, first of all, we need to seek permission and then isolate at the main switch to the installation. Once uh, isolated, we need to apply a suitable locking mechanism. So we apply the locking mechanism across the switch like so and these come in various shapes and sizes so obviously use a suitable one that's going to fit the type of switch. We screw that in place like so and then with a suitable padlock and a warding label with preferably our details on in case somebody needs to contact us um, we place that padlock through the locking mechanism and lock it up like so. And then the key is kept about our person so nobody can unlock without our permission. So that is safely locked off. We now need to prove that that supply is actually dead. So we use something called an approved voltage indicator and that instrument um, as defined uh, in the um, health and safety guidance note, um, uh, GS38 should have suitable probes and leads and provide a reliable indication of any voltage present. So we check the leads and the instrument that it all conforms to GS38, uh, probe tips, uh, fuse leads, no damage to the leads and that um, the instrument then is working, we can either prove on a supply or something called a proving unit. So if we prove the instrument is first working, we've got a reliable indication there so we know the instrument's working. We then come over to the isolated supply and we have to prove that all combinations of the supply are dead. So first of all we can prove line to line across all phases. So L1 to L2, L1 to L3, and L2 to L3. We then have to prove the individual lines to neutral, L1 to neutral, L2 to neutral, and L3 to neutral. As you see, we're not getting any indication to prove it's dead. And also, finally, we need to prove the lines to earth. So L1 to earth. L2 to earth, L3 to earth, and then finally neutral to earth. Ten combinations in all. So we've received, seen that there's no uh, indication, we still have to prove that this is still working. So as a final step, we go to the proving unit, prove that's still working. So we're there safe in the knowledge that we're safely locked off and those supplies into the installation are fully isolated and dead and therefore safe to work on. So thanks very much for watching this video. If you want to know more about our training courses, please visit the website www.trans-euro.co.uk.